bit slow tonight. Hello! <laughs> well, welcome to, to In Bed with the Fizzles. And there's only two of us today. Yeah. Jack's off gallivanting. And she Jack. is. She's doing uni stuff, isn't she? Or as oh, we like to call it. I've gone to school. Gallivanting. Mm. But it doesn't matter, does it? No. Because we've got two guests again this week. Because <gasps> I wasn't here last week and I wondered whether you missed me, but you know, I've got other things to do. I think they did, yeah. Did they? I think Are everybody sure? missed Jack, yeah. Did you miss me? There was more room in the bed. There's always more room in the that's bed nice. when there's only two people. So that's nice, isn't it? You know. Thanks, Sue. That's I wouldn't right. say that. I wouldn't say I missed that. missed you, Deb. Yeah. I really missed you. Sorry, I'm having bra issues. Anyway, well. we'll go. Should we go on to our first guest? Yeah. Shall we? Should we move up the bed? Let's move, Let's up, move the up, bed. up the bed. Right. And introduce our first guest, who is Mr. Joe Publin. And on with a K. Public with a K. Yes, to say public with a K. I do, yeah, with a K. He's here, he's got his cup of tea. Very comfortable, very relaxed. So, <laughs> you you got a bit of a rock star look of you today. No, let me just get this straight before we kick off. Like the, the, the dark glasses are nothing to do with anything like Lord Beans, uh, anything like uh, that, yes. or rock star thing, Bono, nothing to do with that. I ain't yes. sponsoring Syria. All I'm saying is, I've had an operation on my eye and I can't see anything. <laughs> there you go. So that's why you've got your glasses on? That's exactly why. It's only the one eye though, so you can still, you can see that we're over here. Hello. I know that I'm not at home, put it like that. <laughs> Is that because you're dressed? Yeah. <laughs> right, right. I'll, I'm going to let you into a little secret. We've known this man for a, a number of years. Yeah. Yes. Found out that he'd been poorly. Went round to see him the other day. You have never seen the performance <laughs> like it in your life. He's poor other half, so... As had to nurse him back to health. You've been shaving in bed. Yes. You've had your muesli in bed. What yeah. else has it done? Not she in bed. The, she we, don't, <laughs> we don't want to know anything else. <laughs> she bought the hobnobs up that you left on the table. The hobnobs up, yeah. Uh, took hobnobs round. Yeah. 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 Because he eats some more. He eats some more. Well, that's what she and she's been feeding me, you know, and and, and generally looking after me. And it's been marvellous. Well. It's been marvellous. <laughs> have you taken advantage of her though? Yeah. I tried to, yeah. What no, you? you've taken advantage of her generosity. You've, you've milked it basically, haven't you? To the point of that she did put uh, the Rockford files on while I was eating my muesli for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. I milked it a bit. Huh? Yeah, I think you are. On your own. As having a rest today from you. Yeah. Because we did actually say, Sue, if you want to come, feel free. But she hasn't come with She's us. She's like, no, I want a day off. So, he's come with us today, haven't yeah. you? I have, yeah. So, for anybody out there that thinks... Who is this, who's Joe Public? Who is this rock star god in front of me on my telly? I don't tell, know. tell us a bit about yourself. What, what do you do, Joe? Who am I? Yeah, who Ronnie Pickering. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie Pickering! Um, what do I do? What do you do? <sighs> we know. Well, I play do. guitar, I play, I play guitar, blues guitar, and, and so forth. I make albums and. Write songs. But you've toured Europe and, and, uh, as well, uh, doing this. Many times, this. yeah, many times. That's only because I'm sick of England. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but you've toured a lot. Come on, what, kind of, lot, what yeah. kind of come on, what kind of stuff have you done in your past? Come on, because you, you're not 20, are you? No, I'm 22. 22. Yeah. Go on. So what have you done yeah. with your life? I've travelled. Yes, we know you've travelled, but apart, where apart from travel? music, apart from music, I've also travelled many, many Oriental places in, in in the East, Far East, Middle East. Where's your favourite place? My favourite place is India. Seriously, mm. yeah. yeah. North, north of India, Punjab. Yeah, that's the place yeah. where I hope to retire. Wow, which okay. is a long way off at the moment, as you can well see. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a long, long way off. Because you're not yeah. even touching. Like, India is a, a magical country, you know, it's a magical yeah. country. Yeah. We've been to but, India yeah, a couple yeah. of times. Yeah. Right, so. You can think outside of the box in India yeah. Yeah. and still live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty phenomenal. It pretty is phenomenal. an incredible place. And did you play there? Uh, many, many years ago, the first time I went to India, I did some busking in Pakistan. Yeah. With the, we remember them Fray Bentos tins? <laughs> yeah, I used yeah. one of them and I looked around and the tin was good. <laughs> Seriously? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> So, <laughs> I was going to ask a question and it's gone. What's my question? Oh, oh, right, my question is, right, as a musician, and I ask all the musicians that we have yeah. at this question, if you could we play... Had... We've had a few, Deb. We had one last week. Yeah. Peach? Yes, the third. Well, I wasn't here. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, 
If you what? could play or have played with any band ever, who would it be? I have played or, or, or... No, if you could. Any band that you would have loved to have played with. Or if you could. I'd like to have played with BB King. Okay. Yeah. Is that your favourite? No, it's not my favourite, but I would just love to apply it. I love I love the setup of his band. Yeah. Two two drummers, the brass section, you know, he was all there. Who's your who's your favourite? Who's your favourite? My greatest favorite? influence. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I was twelve I saw Jimi Hendrix on TV. It changed my entire life. Really? I knew then. I didn't want to work in a factory or the ever ready, but I wanted to go down that route. Same time, Easy Rider came out of the cinema. It just it just bonded. Easy Rider, Jimi Hendrix experience. And there you go. There you go. Uh, that was the dream. That is and you fulfilled it because you started off. Did you start off busking? I started. Because I've done a bit of busking. Started, yeah. In fact, we do busking with our old ladies. Yeah. That's what busking I love it. is. I really, that's I've, what busking is. I've isn't? done what you've done yeah. and been out there on the street. Busking is the best job in the whole yeah, world. It's great. It, it really is. It's totally free. You do what you want. When you want, you stop and you start when you want. You don't pay no tax. You don't pay nobody until you answer to nobody. And it comes right from the heart. Because if you don't feel like doing it, you won't do it. Yeah. Yeah. And if you make a mistake, the audience has moved. Exactly. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. You sing a song and you think, oh, I've messed up there. But it doesn't matter because I've already gone. So you can start again. Yeah. yeah. And there's no such thing as a bad gig because you only get paid from people who appreciate you. Exactly. It's exactly. not people who are ten, ten quid on the ticket and they hated you. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. you know from, from what you've yeah. got in, how, how good you've done, you know. Yes, brilliant, I love it. And yes, people got... only give money when they, they really feel like yeah. it, don't exactly. they? Exactly. So... so when I'm in Europe, I always go out first and do a bit of busking to get me, myself warmed up. Yeah. And then carry on with the tour. That's there you excellent. go. It's grand. This Are you going to play good. a song for us I'll, today? Pl I'll play you something, I yeah. think it'd be rude not to. I really, think it'd be rude really. not to. Is yeah. it, are we going to know it, though? Drink your cup of tea first. Are we going to know it? I nearly, well, went, I nearly went into that thing then, you know. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it down. Have you put it down? Where's your, where's your guitar? It's just there. Well, what I, I thought I'd do today, because, you know, you only offered me this gig as a second, second choice. From Steve Hazard, you know. He's a hard one to follow. So I thought, every time in the morning when I wake up, I always play a bit of vinyl, and I was playing Rory Gallagher this morning. We didn't know who Rory Gallagher was. Only well, that's because you're young and, you know, and free. You and me, you would have been brought up with Rory Gallagher. And then I thought, no, I won't play any Rory Gallagher. I'll play a bit of BB King, because he died this year, and I thought, <coughs> let's have a bit of... Uh, so what's this song called? It's called The Thrill Is Gone. The shortened version for the camera. <laughs> okay, go on then. So I don't want anybody writing and saying, it's good or dead, it's missed TV. I don't want none of that stuff. <laughs> okay, so it is gone, baby. Here we go. <laughs>
here you go. Fruit is gone. Empty version.